Oh. All right, so <clears throat> I have finished mourning, mourning, and uh, finished crying. So I think I am ready now to do the, do the preview. I believe I'm ready to do the preview. Uh, let me get this over here. I believe now I'm now capable of doing the preview. I do. I now have the strength of doing the the match. Um, no review. I should have said sorry about that. My, but anyways, <clears throat> um, guys. This is a match review. Please smash the like button and subscribe if you're here for the first. Um, if you're feeling as though I'm feeling, <laughs> let's let's join the happy, let's join the the, the, the the sad gang and and cry together. No, it was pretty much a damning performance, a, a, a gut tearing apart, um, a gutless performance, insipid, tasteless, um, no vigor, no guile. Um, but first thing. How did Theodore Whitmore convert the top striker in Premier League at this moment, one of the best players in the Premier League at this moment, into someone looking like a construction worker, into someone looking like a plumber, into someone who looked like it is the first day of playing football? How did Theodore Whitmore did that? How? I don't know how. How can you do that? I cannot, I, I just can't understand how did he do that? We had two teams, two teams. We had a local base team, 90% local players that went to uh, Mexico, high altitude, all these uh, mitigating factors. Who put in a damning performance and we still lost. Yes, we could have gotten something from the game, but we still lost. Same performance, we put in a, a damning performance. Now we have a UK-based reggae boys team, 90% UK-based. Um, I would perceive and consider it has a lot, a lot more talented players than the, the team that went to Mexico. But in all aspects, we, we got the same performance. We got the same or not, if not similar performance. They coincide like this. They coincide like this, side and side to each other. Performance. And on the Mexico game, and no, on the Panama game. We played a weaker team in the Panama game than we, than we played against in the Mexico, in the Mexico game. We got, a, we, we, we got a thrashing in the Panama game. We also got a thrashing in the Mexico game. Yes, people would say that based off mitigating circumstances, we could have gotten something from it. But there is no excuse. No, saying this to say that this is the first... No, this is not the first we have seen such type of performance these are similar performance that we've seen over and over and over again this is not the first we're not new to these type of performances this is definitely not, not the first now what i'm going to do what i want to do i want to highlight to you guys um the, the stats for the game uh why didn't i bring it up early um the stats for the game and uh, a few of the players that we were expecting good performance from the stats. So I want to do that. Then why why is that coming up? Why is not coming up? I'm sorry about that, people. Um, I'm gonna bring it up now. But it's coming up, people. Um, I, I do apologize that it's taking so long because this won't be a long video. This is just a review. This is just literally kind of ranting, you know? <laughs> it's a kind of ranting. But as I said, I, I, I finished cry. I, I'm now wiping my tears. I'm in a, a better place where I can think a bit more clearly and analyze certain scenarios and situation um, with good analytical decision making so i went i cried i take away the the, the 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 emotional aspect i took away the emotional aspect to approach this game on a more realistic and also analytical basis now <laughs> you guys will get will see what i'm talking about you guys will definitely see what i'm talking about um let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go um so it's coming up it is coming up. It is coming up. So I'm bringing up the stats of Mikel Antonio. Um, 
when you show you Mikel Antonio stats, Kemar Roof stats, um, Ethan Pinnock stats. So I'm going to show you guys these players stats. And remember, these players are players that are balling in the English Premier League. These are players that are balling in the Premier League itself. <laughs> now, let's look at this. Um, can I bring up Mikel Antonio stats? Um, Ravel Morrison, Ethan Pinnock. Um, let me bring that down. Uh, okay, so it's not coming up. All right, so the first player that I'm starting to bring up is this. Um, Bobby Reed, he's the first player. He only got 45 minutes. <laughs> This guy only got 45 minutes. In 45 minutes, Bobby Reed had 16 touches and he made 11 passes in 45 minutes. I'm not saying that is the worst, but people, that is not good enough. That is not good enough. A great pass, 8 out of 11, 73%. Bobby Reed, the last game that he played for Fulham, this guy completed 95, um, 92 percent passing with a 92% passing accuracy. A 92% passing accuracy. No, that's one person. Who had a bad performance? Ravel Marson. <laughs> Let's look at Ravel Marson now. 45 minutes, 18 touches. Ravel Mars is an eye touch player. 18 touches. Completed relatively high passing percentile. But those passes were literally when he dropped deep and played the passes in the defensive half. Now that is it for Ravel Marson. Let's look at Ethan Pinnock. He played a total 90. And he, he had 66 touches. He, won, he was one of the players who had a better game out of those. But on the eye test, hmm, no, it didn't look that, that good. Ground deals, completed all of his ground deals, completed all of his aerial deals, lost possession 14 times, finished the game with 78% 70, passing accuracy, attempted seven long balls, only completing one of those, one of them. And I have seen him in training, and all those long, long passes, they were accurate. Pinpoint accurate in training. Yes, match scenarios is quite different from game like scenarios. But in training, that I what I saw, they were up, they were playing at a game like scenario, a game like tempo. Now let's move over to the man that I want to highlight, Mikel Antonio. No, this is the most informed striker in the world right now. One of the most informed striker in the world right now. He had seventeen touches. <laughs> he made six passes. He attempted six passes and completing four of them. <laughs> Shots. One shot off target. The man made one single shot the entire game, people. One shot the entire game. Ground duels only complete one of them. He encountered in eight ground duels only completing one of them. Aerial duels only completing one of them as well, out of four. Committed three fouls and was fouled one. Dribble pass even one. People. These stats are quite damning, and we could say that these stats are a reflection of the players not playing or performing at the highest level. The players are not performing. That's what we could say for the players. But let's sit back and, re and, 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 and take another look. These stats that we're seeing for these players are not the first we're seeing these type of stats. We're, this is not the first. This is not the first we're seeing these type of stats for, these, for, 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 for players that play on the theater with more. No, we have better players, higher quality players, and we're seeing the same stats. We are seeing the same stats. It doesn't matter what player we have under the, the wings of Tapa Whitmore. We had 39% ball possession. 39% percent ball, percent ball possession. 39. We created one big chance. <laughs> one big chance. My word, people. 39% ball position. We, made, we attempted 337 passes, completing 251, only with 75 74%. Now, look at what we're, we're at at the table. We scored one goal and conceded four. A negative four goal difference. Negative four goal difference. Negative four goal difference at the bottom of the table negative just let that sink in negative four remember no people we are not we can't be rating based on what we feel 
um, our personality, how we think and what we believe. We're talking about the World Cup here. This World Cup is not about one individual. This World Cup is not about one individual. This World Cup is about the nation. Now, let's, let's boil down to team tactics. So, so we, 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 we're seeing the, 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 the team, um, all those type of things. So at halftime, he made two changes. Bob Reed and, and um, Ravel Morrison. He brought on Junior Flemings and Speedy. Junior Flemings and Speedy. So um, Speedy replaced Ravel in the midfield. Junior Flemings replaced um, Bob Reed. So he switched it up a little bit. Let's give him that. He switched it up already. Let's switch it up a little bit. So let's move away from the start. So as um, Milton Tap is saying in the, in the chat right there, he said... Um, Stats aren't going to show and uh, explain why the team didn't play bad. Let's let's move. Let's switch it up a little bit. Um, let's look at what happened throughout the game. We start off the team in a fourth four four two. We were totally outrun in the midfield. Totally outrun in the midfield. Um, people remember smash the like button and also subscribe if you're new here. We were totally outrun in the midfield. When we look at it, they had three in the middle. They had possession. They had dominated possession. So obviously, we are not the team to play positional football. Obviously, it doesn't matter who we have. We could have had Messi, Ronaldo, um, Xavi, Iniesta in our team. We won't play positional football because that's not how we play. That's not how we play under um, 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 top of Whitmore. That's not how we play. We don't play possession. We don't need the ball. No. Possession, no. Long ball, FC. Ball over the top. Ball to the byline. That's what we want. Um, Let's break down these people. So let's take what the emotional aspect of things. In the half time, yes, people might say some of some people might say that's that's some good changes. But when you look at it, we had a striker, the most lethal striker in the Premier League right now, up front, and you replace him. You take off the two persons who is likely to provide um um Mikel Antonio with an assist, which are Ravel Morrison and Bob Reed, two players who are the more creative types of player. Now, when you replace those um when you replace those, when you take out the creative play element out of the team, which is Ravel Marson and um, Bobby Reed, he brought in Juno Flemings, who is not a creative player. He's a winger, but he's not a creative player. Speedy, who is also not a creative player, is more of a box to box. Who's going to provide the outlet for Korberg, who is actually up there trying to score a goal? And also, um, um, Mikel Antonio. No one. No one. So you nullify the, the passes going forward. You realize that um, Ravel Marson had to come a bit deeper, fetching the ball off our defenders. At some point, Ravel Marson was in between both defenders, trying to progress the ball. Because we were sitting so deep, and he, he needed to get the ball a bit, um, punch it a bit faster, um, quicker in the front line. So these are aspects of what we're trying to do. Um, people are going to say Ravel was winded. Okay, so if you said Ravel was winded, how is it that in 45 minutes, we have a professional player who's winded. We didn't have the ball. We were playing, we were playing chase cat and mouse the entire game. You cannot go approach a game and chase the game for the entire 90 minutes. You will get deflated. You will burn out. You can never outrun the football. You can never outrun the football. You have to play the ball on the ground. We didn't have any proper tactics to say, this is how we're going to score. This is how we're going to defend. And there's, the only I cannot understand why is that our players look so bad when they play here. And I can tell you, when you see these players return back in the Premier League, next weekend, Mikel Antonio will be bagging a hat-trick. <laughs> next weekend, Mikel Antonio will be bagging a hat-trick. And look at Mikel Antonio looking like a construction worker on the top of. How that, how, how, what are the logics to that? Mikel Antonio had Bob Reed, Bob Reed um, providing to him. You also have Ravel Morrison. But it, he only received the ball at his feet twice throughout the entirety of the game. Twice throughout the 70 minutes that he played for. Mikel Antonio only received the ball twice. Twice! How is it that you have a top-class striker and you only receive the ball twice on his feet? That makes no sense. None whatsoever. And the persons who are capable of bringing the ball to Mikel Antonio's toe point in front of the goal you pull both of them at half time. What were you searching for then? We were already losing. We're already losing, right? And you take off the most um, um, 
creative players. So um, the Jamaican Guna said, big up people, thank you very much. I've been, I, I, it's not that, that I was avoiding chat. I just didn't want, um, I, this is actually the review. Um, Jamaican Guna said, brother, Ravel and Bobbery didn't create anything. It must be a reason why they didn't create anything. Next next weekend, Ravel, um, Bobbery, Bobbery is top, top of the, the, the championship table with, with assists. Top of the championship table with assists right now, Bobbery. Mikel Antonio has three assists in three, in three games. So even if Mikel Antonio didn't uh, score any goal or didn't assist, he can provide, he can do it. Why is it that these players, when they play for us, they just can't do it? People, um, definitely people, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been a, a, a frustrating defeat because I just can't understand. We said, wait, wait. People, all I'm going to say is this before I go. Look at this weekend coming in the Premier League. If these same players... Are, are not going to score goals, assist, or do some goal contribution. Look and you're going to see. If you think I'm, if you think I'm just, I'm just ranting stupidly. Look and you're going to see. If these are the same players who are going to be playing um, and scoring goals in the Premier League and also in the Championship, you're going to see it. So, people, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, people, I'm sorry about. I have to go. I'm definitely. This has really been a good one. Hopefully that you guys are okay. Um, I do apologize. Just. Check out um I'll be speaking to you guys tomorrow. I'll be doing a live stream tomorrow where we can um where we can have where we can have a long talk and discuss everything in football, people. A lot of us are upset, a lot of us are frustrated at this moment, people. Thank you very much for tuning in, people. I really appreciate you guys. If you guys can go, um the 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 the, the, the membership link is in the chat is in the is in the community tab. You can go over there and hit that and join the membership, the military gunner squad. Um, but definitely people. Thank you very much for joining. I really respect the guy, you guys. You put out a lot of effort to be here with me and you rant with me as well. So <laughs> I really respect it, people. Thank you very much. Um, frustrating, I people. And I would definitely have to go and cry some more. Thank you very much, people. And tapa out. <laughs> I never want to say, but it has to, we can't do anything, people. But tapa, this, this is it's more than enough, people. This is not the first. We have seen this enough. We need, we need a better coach. It's, it's evident. Big up, people. I'm out.